Fuck you, Stanley. See, it's waterproof too. What's up, guys? All right, take it away. So today we're gonna to be testing uh, three different types of target platforms. We have our paper slash cardboard, our steel, and of course our infinity targets. So we're gonna be going over the pros and cons of all three platforms, how they can be used in tandem, and essentially determining which, which target platform is best. Um, all of our testing is going to be done scientifically by non-biased scientific professionals. Uh, we are technically considered scientists and felons in three countries, so. All right, so really quick, we're gonna go through the pros and cons of each platform. Obviously, we have our paper cardboard. The pros, you get really precise hit data. Um, it's really cheap, and that's kind of it. It has a lot of cons. Um, it's messy, you need Sharpies, pasties. Um, it's not reusable, it's not waterproof. It's pretty hard to see your hits on target. The list goes on, I'm a little hungover, but. On to the next one. All right, we have our steel. Uh, of course, the pros are it is reusable. Um, you can use it for a pretty long time. Withstands most calibers, depending on how thick the steel. It's pretty windproof, uh, waterproof to an extent. Obviously, over time, it's gonna rust and degrade. And you get your audible feedback, of course. Everyone loves that fucking ding. I told you, man, I was gonna do it. it drives me crazy editing videos. <laughs> Anyways, um, of course the cons are you get your spalling, um, there's ricochet. Um, obviously, you probably know people that have been hit with frag. Uh, so it's really preferred for more long range shooting. You can't do much close quarters, self-defense type training scenarios. Um, you don't get really precise hit data. Obviously, the spalling just takes off all the paint, so you can't really sight in a rifle on it. Obviously, uh, can pit. Uh, higher caliber rounds uh, can put holes in it. Um, it gets sharp, like the mount back here got shot a couple times and cut our hands on it all the time. And one last slight con is it is very loud. I know people that have private property uh, tell us that their neighbors like to complain because they're shooting steel all day and it's driving them nuts. And saving the best for last, we have the Infinity Target. Um, it's clearly a hybrid of both target types. Um, it's essentially a reusable cardboard target, so you get your high visibility hits. Sorry, I know you don't have ears on. Neither do I. No, oh, look at that thing, that's sick. It's a spiral. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you get your highly visible hits. Uh, it's reusable for about 7,000 rounds um, if you're a decent shooter. It's waterproof, weatherproof. Um, obviously, there's no spalling or ricochet, so you could shoot it point blank like I did, unlike steel. Um, the only drawback is it's an initial higher price point. You're going to save money over time um, instead of buying all that paper and cardboard. What was the last? That's so good, I can't think of any cons. And the last con is you don't get that audible feedback. Um, you don't get the steel ding that all the keyboard warriors in the comments like to complain about. But um, other than that, it's a great hybrid. And uh, we're gonna go through some testing and show you which one's best. Looks like the Milky Way. Looks like my dog's butthole. <laughs> Ellie. All right, so we're gonna compare the hit visibility on all three targets. We're gonna shoot them uh, with three different calibers and compare them. All right, first up, we just got nine mil. You can't see. Good group. All right, next up we got five, five, six. And last we have 762. 762. So, nine. Yeah, the two, two nines, five, five, six, seven, six, two. I believe it was nine, nine, five, five, six, five, five, six, seven, six, two. Um, and clearly, this is way more visible. And like we were saying before, with the steel, um, obviously that hit mark's pretty big. Uh, I mean, depending on what paint you use, what power caliber you're using, um, all the paint's gonna disappear and you're not gonna get extremely accurate uh, hit data. All right, so up next, um, we're gonna be testing some special rounds on the targets. Um, so some special use cases where infinity targets come into play are with green tip rounds that are gonna pit your steel, put holes in thinner steel. Obviously, for use cases with the military, like with these M80A1 rounds, don't ask where we got them. 
basically those are going to penetrate right through the steel um, so they can't even use steel um, with these rounds uh, papers obviously wasteful uh, messy uh, kind of a, a pain in the ass but with infinity targets uh, same concept as paper cardboard the round's going to go through you're going to see your hit but it's going to go right through the target it's going to self heal like normal um, it's not going to cause any extra damage and it's a waterproof target so they can leave it out on the range the whole time but Zane's gonna shoot the steel in the infinity target and we're gonna go check it out. Booyah. All right, quit your yap. There we go. Holy shit. That looks sick. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think that can take multiple hits. It's fucking pitted. Holy Toledo. Scattered. Solid. Come check it out. Sick. What? What is that, drywall? <laughs> so, obviously, with paper targets, there's kind of two ways to reuse them. Obviously, if they mark your hits or stupid fucking cardboard pasties that just make a mess and fall off. Obviously and then a lot you of can't work, really man. use it for many more mounts anyways. But obviously with infinity targets, just spray paint. Obviously much faster than what I just did on the cardboard. Same thing with steel. Not that you really need to, but first are reusable targets. We don't have a scale out here, so to show you uh, which one's the most lightweight or heavy, I'm just gonna throw it. Okay. All right, paper, paper, cardboard. How many feet that go? One, two, three, four, five. As far as I can count, five. Perfect. <laughs> five yards. All right. Dude, look at this chunk of glass. Oh, I threw it earlier. Yeah, that's glass. All right, keep going. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna break it. Steel. <laughs> that went further than I thought it would. I'm pretty strong. Like really, what? Fucking eight, eight paces? Yeah. All right, throw ID. What? Throw. You want to catch it? Oh fuck! Wait, let me redo that. <laughs> you almost one took it. That was one-handed. <laughs> frisbee, frisbee. All right, catch it. <laughs> this this video did not turn I out. I can throw it farther than you. Okay, okay. Fucking suck. Yeah. Alright, go catch it. Okay. Wanna get a load up? There you go. This one didn't this one bounced too. Infinity targets, most lightweight. Told you. Science. Alright, piss on it. Alright, we know infinity targets don't solve every problem so obviously we have steel on the range with us as well um, which we use for longer range shots obviously audible reaction but you can use them in tandem if you have both uh, you if you want to shoot steel closer range the nice thing is you can put an infinity target in front of it you get your visual feedback from the high visibility hit you get your audible feedback from the steel and the infinity targets gonna protect from any uh, fragmentation coming back at your face uh, just watch your feet seize And the really cool thing is our targets are the only reusable targets on the market that work for both firearms and fucking these things. Alright guys, so did a lot of testing today. 
don't know how conclusive it was, but uh, Infinity Targets won. In all seriousness, obviously there's different target platforms. Some are better than others at certain things. We are here to fill a gap in the industry, but obviously steel is great for long distance. If you're autistic and you like the ding. Uh, I mean, they work well together, bro. Put them tandem. Yeah, work, work them in tandem. It's like a super target. Just watch out for your toesies, because you can't, it, it'll go down. Yeah, both are great reusable target systems. Um, weatherproof, waterproof, reusable, which is awesome, because if you can see all around us at this public range, it's fucking trashed. Um, paper, no. Paper is wasteful. Not that people litter purposefully, but like, it's just, if you your cardboard's trash and you paid 10 cents for it, it's easier to just leave it. Um, unless you invest in a good target system, you're not gonna wanna leave that target at the range and you're gonna actually care about it more. Um, kind of going off on a mini rant here, but that's a video series for another day. We're gonna clean up the desert. A little rabbit hole action, but we should light it on fire right now. We're going to. I also. You were the chosen one! So referring back to the test, obviously weight-wise, um, our infinity targets are like eight pounds. Steel is obviously heavy. Um, a lot of people like to use our stuff at long distance ranges. It's seven times lighter. I don't even fucking want to talk about paper. I hate it. It looks like shit over there. But that's why I pissed on it. Seven times lighter than steel. Exactly. Pick him up. Who? Cool. Yeah. Bring him in here. So, not as light as paper, way lighter than steel. Um, obviously, it's got to be durable. Obviously, with steel, you're going to get spalling. Um, we saw that paint can explode today. That fucking all over me. <laughs> Definitely a squirter or leaking everywhere. But uh, if you want to do self-defense, CQB style stuff, um, get up close and personal, like from, from concealment, um, finish targets your go-to. Paper is going to blow apart like it did with the crank. Um, it's even going to do that with the handgun, your high point, whatever you're running, nerds. But <laughs> just fucking shit on, shit on our subscribers. So Start drop shipping high points. I'm kidding, every, I love you guys. Every comment. Not that everybody does archery, but it is pretty cool that if you want to get into archery or vice versa, you use the same target. Something we didn't talk about earlier today is obviously the thermal capabilities that we talked about in the last video. You don't need a special target, it's just same target. And then in special use cases, like with military law enforcement scenarios where they're using uh, highly penetrable, highly penetrating. I'm good at that. That's what she told me last night. No, I'm kidding. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> that fucking brain dead. I need four Miller lights. Um, like with the M80A1, the tungsten rounds, I believe it's tungsten core. But uh, obviously you saw how much it pitted that steel. If you're shooting at that all day, that steel is going to last for... 20 more shots until you hit the same spot and makes a hole. Uh, obviously with self-healing infinity targets, it's gonna seal up just like normal. Don't have to go change out targets downrange because it's weatherproof, waterproof. Piss proof. It is piss proof. That's, that's a different video for another day. All right, so thanks again for tuning into the channel. Give your mom a hug for me. Paper targets are gay. Invest in your target systems. And remember that you can make a suppressor with an oil filter and a thread adapter from Amazon. There we go. I'm slow. Don't look, I'm shy. This camera's shy.